with Larry Hughes of the Philadelphia 76ers. Jason Kidd. Becky Shorts that he was able to hold out of the memories. It wasn't quite a slam dunk, but in their last big win, the Philadelphia 76ers at the end of the game, Larry Hughes flies in from the other side, tips in the winning shot at the buzzer for Philadelphia against New Jersey. He said he did nothing special getting ready for this. He's just going to go out, have some fun, see what happens. Oh, Larry Hughes not able to hit on that first slam dunk opportunity. Well, you get one miss in the first round, so that's all right. You only take your top two scores, but he's got to be a little bit more cautious now, and that takes away a little bit of your aggressiveness. Larry Hughes, a player whose name has surfaced in a number of trade rumors in recent weeks, but he is a talent, just 21 years old. Let's check in with Cheryl. Larry, you missed the first time. Get a little nervous on the first one? I think I was a little too high. I think it hit off the back of my head. But um, I'll be back. I got two more dunks to do. So you're not really concerned about nah, it? No, I'm not worried about it. All right, let's go back to you, Mark. All right, Cheryl. Larry Hughes scores 30 on his first dunk. Well, that is the, uh, the my unanimous head. of 30, which is actually the, the minimum. Well, at least, at least Kenny Smith got that one right. Yes, back to the top of the lineup, Larry Hughes of uh, the Philadelphia 76ers. Larry's got to make sure that he finishes this dunk off so he you know, has a chance in these last two dunks to advance. Yes, he missed the shot in his first opportunity. Hey, I've seen this somewhere before. <laughs> I've seen this somewhere. This is a very difficult dunk, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is very difficult. If you can catch it. Now the judges have to rule whether or not he's allowed to do it one more time. He gets one more time in my book, because once you don't touch the basketball, you get another one. But he's bouncing it too hard. He's bouncing the basketball too hard. You have to, you have to do it like a regular bounce pass, because the ball is, your adrenaline's falling. The ball's going to hit the rim no matter what. We asked Rod Thorne from the NBA this morning, how many opportunities do you get? And uh, I guess they will give an extra, uh, an extra shot. The feeling was it would be three. You know, if it was baseball, he'd be gone. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Take three, you're out. He'd be gone if it was baseball. Right, Larry Hughes taking a different direction to the dunk attempt and uh, once again we'll see a string of sixes Larry hearing it from the crowd as he lays it in I think Vince Carter's got everybody's brain a little bit trying to do something maybe they can't do this is the minimum score Larry Hughes once again with sixes across the board and in this third and final dunk of this first round as we look ahead to the finals they are actually going through the motions our mathematicians have uh, just figured out it is impossible for anyone to catch Vince Carter Tracy McGrady and Steve Francis that will be the final three so basically those three players should save their best dunks for the next round don't give up anything here that they might lose an advantage going into At the next round absolutely and the toughest judge over there has been George Gervin so what I say, he's been going one point less than everybody else. I say everybody do a finger roll this round. Try to get that one point extra. All right, as Alan Iverson feeding off to Larry Hughes. The crowd somewhat impressed. <laughs> the tough crowd after what we have seen over the first two rounds. Well, at least Alan passed it. 